<laughs> All right, hello everyone. We are playing as the silent. Hopefully, we'll get some poison on the go. So, I'm going to go with enemies in my next three combats have one HP. See if I can get an early elite kill. Uh, it don't look like it. Maybe up this left side. Potentially, if these three question marks, none of them are corridor fights, then I could maybe get that left hand elite. So, let's try that. It doesn't really matter if it uh, doesn't work out that way. Quickly kill those. Uh, of these three, I'm going to take all out attack, deal 10 damage to all enemies, and discard a card at random. Discarding is good. We can maybe get some relics that boost our discarding. Uh, 14 health for two random card upgrade. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Cool. Those are good ones to get upgraded. Um, that's my new card and my survivor uh, high block card. Happy with that. Uh, 7 HP to remove a card from the deck. Yes, please. Ditch this strike. And nice. Okay. Now I've got a choice here. Um, I duck into a small hut. Inside I find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Note to self, always check the settings before you start broadcasting. Okay, so I want stuff that discards things, so let's take Dagger Throw. Then we've got uh, an Elite, which is going to be taken out in one hit. Goodbye, thank you very much. White Beast Statue, very good. We'll get a potion after every fight. And uh, the Regen, regen Potion. Um, let's take Infinite Blades and then upgrade. We'll upgrade Dagger Throw, because that's a nice, powerful one. Play that, use that to get rid of pain, play infinite blades, neutralize, and strike. Oh, I should have played the upgraded strike, but uh, I'm being a bit fast and loose on this run. Right, let's hit strike, let's do all out attack, let's block, and then hit him with a shift. I uh, should have done strike there, it would have killed the cultist. Okay, right, time to focus up. So, strength potion. Quick slash, it's going to be good. And then more bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Uh, let's upgrade. Quick slash, that's another 12 damage card for one energy. Very good. Okay, now we're into the proper fights. So first things first, we're going to use Survivor. Get rid of pain. Infinite blades and all out attack. I'm going to take the one damage and then kill him. Oh, I didn't use a potion because I forgot that I get one after every fight. So let's discard that one, take that one. And we'll take footwork here just to boost our dexterity, get a bit of block on the go. And then what I want to do here is I want to play infinite blades. And not anything else just now. I think with the Lagi Villain we're going to play the Strength Potion. Uh, unfortunately I can't get rid of Pain, which is a frustration. But the next round we're going to start attacking. Okay, here we go. 14 damage. 9 damage. 8 damage. That was more than 9. I've got the strength potion. Right, dagger throw. Let's discard this shift. Let's do this to make him weak. Uh, use survivor and discard this defend card. And then we'll attack. There. This is negating the incoming 13. And I'm going to use strike. I'm going to use shift. I'm going to use all-out attack. Uh, I was hoping that Pain would get uh, discarded there. 
by whittling it down, the chances were, would go up, you know. Uh, and then let's get it. Cool. We're pretty low on health here, so I think I might actually heal. Uh, I'm going to take Noxious Fumes. I feel like the little bit of poison every round is just enjoyable. So we'll play Survivor here. We'll get rid of Pain. Do Footwork. Uh, we'll weaken one of them. And now we're negating all the incoming damage. And actually we'll just hit Strike on that one. And then we're going to use the Explosive Potion so that we can take out, hopefully, both of them in the next round. But if we can't, it doesn't matter too much. Let's put a strike on here, and then there we go. That's both of them down. Mm, let's take Blur. Gain five block, and block is not removed at the start of your next turn. That's going to be helpful. Obtain Golden Idol and trigger a trap. Well, I don't want to take 17 damage, and I don't want to lose HP. No, I am going to take the 17 damage and then I'm going to heal. Let's just have a look at the map. Yeah. Take damage. Heal up. As I reckon we can take on the uh, Hexaghost. Just fine. I'm going to stick the regen potion going now. Then we'll play Infinite Blades. Dagger Throw. Quick Slash. We just play Neutralize just for the fun of it. That's a nice like, little opener. We've taken off 27 health. Let's pop Noxious Fumes down. Noxious Fumes with the setup that we've got isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, but sometimes just those, you know, over the course of a boss fight, those bits of damage stacking up, it can be like 15 to 20 damage, and that's really useful. So we'll use Survivor to discard Pain. And then we'll play Dexterity just so it's all set up. And then we'll play Strike. I'm actually going to save my next attack for one of the good ones because I don't want to do double shiv damage. I've got the pen nib here and the next attack I do is double. So we'll do it on quick slash which is 24. Lovely. Dagger throw. Oh, we will discard pain. It's good to get that out of the way. We'll block the 10 damage coming in and move on. Very nice. Okay, we'll use Survivor here to get rid of this burn card. We'll neutralize, and then we'll play the shift. Right, the regen potion has finished. So bear in mind my health will not be going up anymore. Uh, I'm going to play this blur card. Then I'm going to play all of these, and then play all out attack last. Oh, whoops, I got that wrong. <laughs> I thought I had one more energy than I did for some reason. Okay, let's defend. Uh, I'm not going to bother attacking here because I'll just take damage for no reason, and I'm not on. A, I'm on half health, so just need to think about that. Let's play this defend. Play this shift. We're negating the eight damage, and then in a minute we're going to have a nice doubler. So let's spend that on quick slash. Let's weaken this incoming damage. Let's play survivor. Uh, let's do dagger throw and then shift. Cool. Going to take some damage here, but he's only got 48 left, so we should be good. First things first, we're going to do dagger throw. Use that to get rid of pain. Uh, going to do survivor. Use that to get rid of burn plus. Uh, going to play the shift. Going to play all out attack, and I think on the next round we've we've got this one. There we go. Very nice. Bye bye, Hexaghost. Block potion. And then I think we've got the shivs, so I might take the Envenom card. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. And I've got three potions in the bank. I should compensate for just how kind of roughly I've been I've been playing. Uh, let's take the Astrolabe. Upon uh, pickup, transform three cards and upgrade them. We're going to transform three of our strikes. And let's just see what we got. So we've got prepared, draw two cards and discard two cards. Very good. Expertise plus, draw cards until you have seven in your hand. And then wraith form. 
Uh, gain three intangible. That means that the next attack deals one damage and then you lose dexterity each turn. It's very much one to play near the end of a fight as a kind of a get out of jail free card. Um, I rarely use it and I rarely take it. So it'll be interesting to see now that I've just been given it, what's going to happen there. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're going to go here. Now, I've got no way of discarding pain, so infinite blades. We're going to play the explosive potion here. 24 damage on you. Killed the first one, and then we're going to use the block potion just to negate that 10. Because the silent doesn't heal, I just like to keep uh, just avoid even taking those little oneers and stuff, you know. Right, so venom. Uh, let's block here. Let's shiv. Start that poison doing its thing. Right, so he's out. Next round, uh, the round after next. So I really want to. What have I got here? Now, if I use expertise now, it's just going to mess me up. So I won't use it. I think we can do this. So play the shiv and then all out attack. Yeah. All right. So we get all our money back. 30 gold stolen back. 18 gold. Strength potion. Very nice. And then, oh, I think I might take, I'm just going to take backstab. 15 damage right off the bat. Always handy. Uh, let's obtain a relic. Uh, we got a curse there, but hopefully we'll get something that removes all our curses at some point. Now I'm going to, because I've got the more bank, I've got 500 gold, so I'm going to um, take this central route and go into that shop. When I spend it, the more bank will uh, stop working, but that's fine. So let's do footwork here. Let's play prepared. Get rid of rise. Get rid of this defend. Now, I've got 10 damage incoming, so first of all, let's play survivor. Then let's play Infinite Blades. Then let's backstab this guy. Because that shiv being there might make all the difference if I get two attacks with various uh, different ones. So it's Noxious Fumes, Dagger Throw, and then we will block some of this incoming damage and then we'll shiv this guy. been a long setup unfortunately my, my card the cards haven't really been in my favor so let's play all this block do an attack do another attack and we're just going to take the he some heavy hits here which hopefully we can recover from is there a yeah there is a rest point coming up soon okay so the first one's going to die that's great so let's focus on Getting this one down. Uh, we've got in Venom now, which means that every time we use a Shiv attack on these, they'll be getting a one poison, uh, which is super helpful. Now, that's one on you. Another one on you. Get rid of Brythe, and there we go. They are dead. Colorless Potion, and um, hmm. If this card is discarded from your hand, gain energy. I never like Tactician, it never quite works out the way I want it. So I'm actually going to take Crippled and Cloud here. Uh, give me a bit of poison and weak to start off with. Um, a line of hooded figures can be seen entering an unassuming cathedral. Smash and grab, obtain 99 gold, or stay in line and obtain the ritual dagger. Deal 15 damage. If fatal, permanently increase this card's damage by 3. Mm, that is in keeping with the way I'm playing, but I do have a lot of... I do have a lot of cards, so I'm actually going to take the gold because I'm going to the shop. Here we go. Right, we've got tons to spend here. So let's have a look around at everything. First of all, definitely removing pain. Goodbye. Second of all, so at the start of each combat, apply four poison to all enemies. We're now starting up a poison build. Matryoshka. The next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Yes, please. And then the Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Absolutely clutch. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to take Slice, uh, just because 
I've got the shivs there and slice. It just becomes a bit of a dead card by the end of the game. So we're going to be happy that we got all of those. Then we're going to I'm going to take this route here because I actually want to heal right up. And then we're going to go in the shop even though we can't get anything. No, literally there's nothing available for the 35 that we've got. Do this fight. So this is we we we're tooled up here. Got a whole new whole new setup that I'm very happy with. That's going to do 30 damage. Let's see if we can get a block card out of this colorless potion. Uh, well, Dark Shackles, that'll do. There we go, the Mystic is now doing zero damage. Now, I've only got three energy, which does frustrate me slightly, but we're going to go with Envenom. Then we're going to do All Out Attack. I'm actually going to use the Strength Potion. Maybe I should have used it at the beginning, but All Out Attack, 16 damage. That breaks her block and puts one more poison on her. And we should be able to kill the Centurion even after the healing's gone through. So. Infinite Blades came out pretty late. Uh, let's play that. Discard. I'm going to take two damage here. I can cope with it. Alright, cool. We'll play Prepared. Um, get rid of this Writhe and just a random Defend card. Let's Neutralize. Let's shiv, uh, and let's uh, all-out attack. Very good. Dagger throw on you. And then I'll just play Blur, just to give me eight block next round. She's going to heal herself, I think. Oh no, she made herself stronger. That was a bit silly. Because now she's dead. Sorry, Mystic. One of us had to go. Okay, Choke deals 12 damage. Whenever you play a card this turn, the enemy loses 3 HP. That could be good, but it doesn't really fit with how I've built things. And I've got a lot of cards already, so I'm going to skip it. Uh, Riddled with Holes. Eh. If I had more energy, maybe. And uh, this one, to be honest, it's powerful. But I've just got so many cards. Um, I really want to look at removing some. So I'm going to skip all of these. Now. We get two relics. We've got the Ninja Scroll and the Mummified Hand. Those are great. So the Ninja Scroll gives you three Shiv Pluses at the start of every combat. Oh, sorry, Shivs, not Shiv Pluses. And then Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero that turn. Now, I don't have a lot of power cards, but I'm going to get some. Because <laughs> they kind of pay for themselves. Now, let's upgrade and Venom, so it only costs one energy. Normally I'd leave it, but because I'm only, I've only got three energy at the start of the combat, it gets a bit annoying to execute. Okay, so we're going to Cripple in Cloud. Now we've got 15 damage incoming. This is the point at which I need to think about the incoming damage quite a bit. So let's try and get some kind of upgraded defend card here somewhere. No, I don't have any. All right. So we're going to take... 10 damage here, which is annoying, but fine. Uh, backstab, 30. Very nice. There we go. Right, well, it's down to half its health already. So a, a fair trade-off. There we go. Can I kill it with that? Yeah, there we go, it's dead. Silly plant. Silly snake plant. Right. I've now got a full complement of potions. Must remember that next fight. Um, these are all cool, but they don't really fit with how I'm building things. Predator, I don't have the two energy really to spend. So we're going to go here and we're going to upgrade something poisony, probably. Let's upgrade Noxious Fumes. I've now kind of switched from a stabby build to a poison build, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to fight these guys. I think we can beat them. What do you think? Alright. 15 damage on pointy. Cool. And now my next attack is going to be doubled. Must remember my potions. In fact, now might be a good time to play... Oh, now might be a good time to play intangible. 
cool. They're going to do one damage. Uh, there's nothing that costs zero, so I'm not going to use prepared. And we will see how this plays out. I'm at a point where I can't block, so I need to kill Bear pretty much immediately. So let's play the vulnerable potion, the fear potion, on him. Then we'll dagger throw, and he's dead. Fabulous. Uh, we'll just discard that. And uh, we've done it. Now we get the uh, red mask. At the start of each combat, apply one weak to all enemies. Speed potion. Very nice. Uh, and then... This is pretty good, Piercing Whale. All enemies lose 8 strength this turn. I'm going to take that. Because it exhausts out of the deck. Uh, choose one of 20 cards to add to your deck or heal 26 HP. Hmm. I think if I heal, I can then just upgrade on the next one. Um, the cards are going to be non-upgraded cards. I've got lots of cards, so let's just heal. And then let's take the upgrade here. And we're going to upgrade Footwork to get 3 Dexterity, which increases our block power. Okie dokie, nice. So first things first, we'll play Infinite Blades, get those shivs on the go. Uh, Blur went down to zero, that's cool. Let's play Prepared here, get rid of Writhe, get rid of Defend Plus because nobody's attacking. Play Crippling Cloud, get rid of those Get rid of those artifacts that he had. Now he's ripe to be poisoned, which is a fantastic. So, play these shivs. Cool. Pretty solid opening. Um, now let's Envenom. Uh, we're going to uh, whittle down the orbs first here. So we'll defend there, play all out attack, get some hurt out on the orbs. I just want them off the table. Um, he's taking care of Wraith form for me for a bit, which is nice because I'm not going to need it till near the end. Let's do footwork. Uh, defend went down to zero, very nice. Let's just focus on this orb, this side here. Uh, next attack is going to be double damage. So bear that in mind. You only need 15 to kill that front orb. And I've got 20 incoming. So, uh, 20, 28 incoming. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use 24 on this guy. Then, I'm going to ditch this defend card and this defend card. I'm going to play this one and this one and then I'm gonna use a shift on you that negates almost all the incoming damage now I can shift this guy he's dead <clears throat> and then we'll whittle away the other one Cool. Noxious Fumes, that should make something cost zero. Yeah, Defend is costing zero there. You're dead. And we can do all out attack. Nice. Still got my three potions, which is absolutely great. Might need to use them now, actually. So we will do Survivor. What's my next highest block? Do Defend. Do another defend, and then we will use this potion. Now, the reason that I haven't used my speed potion is because if this fight takes a long time, the hyper beam might come around again, and I can hopefully use it. Use it then. Why did I get rid of? There we go. I get rid of those. Attack. Attack and then attack, and then the next attack is going to be double, so hopefully I'll get quick slash out. Uh, oh, all that attack, even better. So let's do that. Block. Alright, I'm going to take a heavy hit here. There we go. And now we're just kind of whittling them down, adding that poison up every round. It's currently sitting at about 20, which is fine. Uh, let's defend against this. Actually, should have played the speed potion first. Right, 
Gonna take a bit of a hit here. Okay, loads of block. Fantastic. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. Let's uh, lose this defend card, play this shiv, play expertise, see what we get out. And then we will quick slash and shiv. Right, next attack's gonna be double. Another hyper beam. Now, haha, this has come out perfectly. I did say this was going to be the one that, that saved me. So Wraith Form means the incoming damage is uh, one. I'm going to negate that one. Play this Shiv. And now he's, he's dead on the next round. So we'll just end the turn there. And down goes the Automaton. Not the most expertly executed play, but we got there. Uh, let's take another Invenom. Adding two damage with every unblocked attack is great. Uh, and then I think of these, I think it's time for some energy. So I'm going to sacrifice my ability to upgrade cards by taking that. Because not having the four energy is really holding me back. All right, let's have a look up here. So, upgrade. Middle track has a couple of upgrades on it. So I'm going to start this side. I'm going to try and avoid all the elites if I can. Now, we do have a really strong start here, so we've got a bit of poison on the table. Um, we're going to defend against there. The only thing we don't have is in Venom active, unfortunately, which I would I would have liked. Let's play these shivs, and maybe in Venom will come out. It has. Fabulous. That's good. That means we can start poisoning these... Now the leftover block is going to carry over to next round, which I need because I'm not, it's not too blocky a setup I've got here. So let's play Crippling Cloud, uh, let's do Survivor, and then All Out Attack, and there we go. Right, we're going to play Footwork and hopefully Venom, yeah, and Venom's come down to zero. It's good. Now Piercing Whale has come down to zero, which is good. Strike, Shiv. Alright, so we're going to take 11 damage here, but we're on full, so it's not too much of a problem. And actually getting hit there um, got rid of a burn. Uh, and uh, it's dead. End turn. Poison. Lovely. Oh, we've got two regen potions. I do like that. Um, going to take Infinite Blades just because I've got that double poison... That double in Venom set up, so having a shiv each round is going to be fantastic. Okay, now I've got that will draw a card out, so let's see what we get. Nothing useful. Let's get rid of Writhe and we'll just start hacking away at this front one. I'm actually going to hold on to Backstab and see if I can't. Um, get it doubled. Um, I'm going to play a regen potion too because I'd like to end up on 80, 80 health at the end of this fight. Okay. Footwork, Noxious Fumes, and Venom. Everything's costing zero. Let's uh, attack that one. And this is looking like they're actually all going to get killed at more or less the same time. So I might not have any that end up getting resurrected. Uh, infinite Blades there. Another Crippling Cloud. Let's play this. Uh, get rid of... Defend and Dagger Throw. Infinite Blades. Defend. I'm about to take a little bit of damage here. Four damage. I might play in Venom. I think Piercing Whale would be good. Just get them all down to zero attack so I don't have to worry about anything incoming. Then we'll put some shivs on this guy. All out attack there. And let's just play Expertise, see what comes out. Nothing useful. <laughs> all right. And we've done it. And we've, this is the first time I've actually killed these Darklings in like one go for quite a while. 
Bye bye. Cool, nice potion there. Now, um, my deck is getting very large, so even though Blade Dance is really good, I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to use the shivs that I get at the beginning of each round. And yeah, I'm going to follow the middle track so that I don't have to fight an elite. Let's put in Venom costing one. Those, uh, those power cards just do so much good. Let's get Nox Noxious Fumes right off the gate. Uh, infinite Blades. Let's get rid of Rise. Expertise, I don't think I've used it usefully even once. Um, let's do 30 damage. Let's block. And for now, I'm going to stop there. I want to look out for with this is when it's got the debuff thing hanging over its head. It will give you a Parasite is not not pleasant so let's play the speed potion let's have a shed ton of block and then let's just take this 30 it's not going to hit it for three damage for no reason and here we go now it's good to hit it so hit you i don't want to get that thing so we'll hit you again 11 damage i like that put some more poison on and now we're just going to build up the block for next round using blur now that poison is starting to really stack so I'm happy with that let's do a quick slash uh, let's do a all out attack and now let's just concentrate on getting some block in cool alright prepared rise defend no, I will keep defend and I will get rid of a shift. All right, good. So let's block this incoming stuff. I'm literally not even going to attack. Uh, I'm just going to let the poison do its work. Attack on that one. That's made everything worse. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Oh no. Can I can I maybe get it killed? 15 damage. Okay, that's fine. That'll do. And now it's dead, so I can just end the turn here. Let's just play Wraith Form for fun. Bye bye, Tangela. Okay, strength potion, very nice. Uh not gonna take any of these. All good cards, but I'm so near the end now that they're just not forming part of my strategy. Uh, this is a good Time to use a strength potion because anything I can do to bring the transient down a peg or two is good. Let's weaken it. Now, 28 damage. Done. Let's hang on to all of this stuff because this stuff might come in useful uh, as it comes back around. It's a shame that I missed that in Venom. It's a bit of an opportunity lost there. Get some block on the go. Get rid of expertise, get rid of this defend. Let's hit him, let's hit him again, and then let's hit him again. And that's uh, covered the assault there. I've only killed this guy once. I was very happy about it. Now, let's do Wraith Form here, because actually that gives us three intangible, which covers the entire fight. <laughs> let's just let's just be attacking him here. So it's gonna do one again. I don't actually need to do anything here, but it's just fun. Because you never know. Never know what you're gonna need. Uh I probably could have actually kept the pen nib for the next fight, but I was I was too excited to kind of cycle through things. All right, distilled chaos, very good. Uh, I'm not going to take any of these, and let's uh... oh, <laughs> let's rest for three. 
I actually forgot that I'd taken the relic that stops me being able to upgrade, so yeah. Very smooth. Right. Let's get rid of that. And Wraith form. Play this defend. Get some poisons out. Let's play expertise and see what we get. Footwork. And we'll pop this blur on. And that'll just give us some more block for the next round. I'm going to play Distilled Chaos here. Cool. Got some power cards going. Uh, all the income damage is covered. So we can just do a bit of output. Uh, we're not going to attack here because I've got the pen nib active. So we'll... See if a powerful one comes out, which would be my preference, yeah. Quick slash. And he's preparing a debuff. I can't remember what that debuff is. We'll soon see. Frail and weak, fine. The same back. Cool. Those shivs are now really starting to suck up that poison, which is uh, means the fight's going to be over in a couple of rounds. Cool, let's play prepared. Get rid of wraith form, get rid of expertise. And then we'll just pop blur on, and then we'll take these defences. And then next round we'll have uh, a big amount of block. Cool, cool, cool. And he's dead. Nice. Sorry, Mr. Jaw, man. Fire potion, that'll come in handy. Uh, and let's take uh, let's take Terra. That's a good one. Makes him vulnerable for 99 rounds. And I have got a lot of stabby cards. Now, first things first, I want the footwork. Then I want the Invenom. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is play this. I don't want to use Wraith Form just yet, so we can ditch that. I'm going to... Play Piercing Whale. Let's get that incoming damage down, and then I'm going to start breaking down the defences of this one. Unlike the Darklings, once these ones are dead, they stay dead. Now here we've got 30 damage. So we're actually going to put that on a separate one. Defend. And then on the next round, I think we will be able to kill all three of them. Maybe. Using the Fire Potion. Maybe. Infinite Blades and Venom. Let's get you dead. Defend. Let's do expertise, because we've got something to play here with infinite blades. Let's get Terra on you. Uh, let's play this survivor card just because. And then we will chuck a fire potion at this one. And now, all dead. Everybody's dead. Cool. Ah, now this dash, I wasn't going to be taking any cards, but this is actually a great card. Two energy for 13 block and 13 damage. That's essentially 26 sort of points of stuff happening for or 13 each for an energy. That's really good maths, you know. Uh, I wanted to go the middle road. I didn't think I was going to fight an elite. Uh, but I do have a I do have a heal just after it, and I can't do an upgrade, so I'm actually going to go that way. Oracalcum. If I finish with no block, I block for six. Bottled tornado. Um, I want to be starting with Envenom, actually. So I'm going to put the Envenom on there, guaranteed to get it in off the bat. Very nice. Let's stab you, stab you again, stab you again. Piercing Whale, Expertise, Infinite Blades, Stab You Again, uh, and oh, kind of messed up there. So let's use the Regen Potion to offset some of that damage that's coming in. Okay, hit Shiv. 
Another infinite blades. Now I need to hit it because I don't want a parasite card. Thank you. There we go. That's a slightly healthier round. Okay, I need to hit it again, because again, I don't want a Parasite. 16 damage coming in, that's exactly what I've got on the block. Perfect. This round, this fight, the poison's taken a while to stack up, unfortunately, so... I think we are near the end of the fight, so we'll use Wraith Form. Uh, we'll play this, play this, play this, and I think, not only is it dead, but my pen nib is set up to do the double damage on my next attack which will carry over to the next fight. Um, these are all great cards. Uh, I'm not going to take any of them. So... I'm just going to stick with what I've got and move into the boss. Alright, so we will get this Envenom out. We will... Neutralize again. Block here. And there we go. He's got nine poison. This one is obviously really tricky because he gets the intangible every other round. So I really just want to start stacking that poison as quickly as possible. Um, let's reduce that to nothing. Let's play expertise here and see what we get out. So footwork, that's good. Blur, keep that. Um, and then because of Blur, I'm going to play this Defend, um, which gives me 16 block for the next round, which is super useful. All right, uh, Infinite Blades, and then we'll Quick Slash. <clears throat> Bit of damage output there. And then I think we'll use this Attack Potion to try and get something... Yeah, let's get Predator. We'll hit for 22, and then next round we'll get um, a few more cards out, which might be useful. Okay, so second in Venom. Let's do Cloud to weaken him, and then we'll play Predator again, maybe? Oh no, Prepared. I want some block. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of that. Got 14 block. Let's weaken him again. See what we pull out here. Nothing useful. Uh, I'm not going to attack here. I'm going to wait and do double damage on the next turn. I'm about to take a heavy hit. Okay, what have I got to do double damage with? Yeah, dash. There we go. And he's dead. Let's just pop some defend on because that burn is in the deck. And uh, we're golden. Bye-bye, Mr. Nemesis. Okay, now. Uh, escape plan. Is good. Grass knife is good. Reflex, I kind of hate, but I'm gonna not take any of them. Twenty-seven cards is is a lot already. Let's heal up, and then we're gonna fight a boss from Act One. Get a rare relic. Don't really need it, but you know how these things are. Nice to have. So double damage. Oh no, I already played the double damage. That's a shame. So do crippling cloud. Play dash. Play quick slash. Uh, now, I have got two Blessing of the Forges, so what do I have that's not upgraded just yet here? Not worth playing it on this round. Play Vulnerable. Let's uh, save Piercing Whale. Okay. Yep, we'll stop there. We should be able to absolutely trash this guy. Play those two. Uh, get some defense on just against the barbs. We'll do an all-out attack. Uh, get another bit of defense on. There we go. That negates the 12 damage coming in. Play footwork. Noxious fumes. Let's play prepared. See what comes out. Okay, we'll get rid of these two low-value shivs. We'll play dash, and then our block 
And then, yeah, my next attack is double. One thing about having the shivs is it just, it really brings that pen nib around real quick. So, yeah, that's going to be 42 damage. Very nice. And then we start stacking a bit of poison on him as well. I need to play this Blessing of the Forge, but it's, uh, I don't need it. It's done. It's over. So I'll probably discard one of those. Lizard Tail. When you would die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Works once. That's great. Sneko Oil I don't want, so I'm going to leave that. And I don't want any of these either, so I'm going to leave those. Go to the Mystery Room. Uh, I think I can beat these two. Am I being overconfident? Whatever they've got to offer, I just don't need it for the boss. So because I've been playing a bit slappy and come pretty close to losing a couple of times, I'm going to actually leave this fight. No need to be greedy. We're going to heal for 2 HP. I'm going to see how we do against Donu and Decker. So first things first, I'm playing Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade every card in my hand. Next, I'm going to play the Artifact. So that if they... I don't know if they've got debuffs, these guys, but if they have, at least that will negate one. Noxious uh, Fumes. Now we're going to focus on Donu first, because he is the strength building one. And we've already gotten rid of their artifacts. So we can just stack up that poison. Shame we don't have corp Corpse Explosion where it transfers the damage over. Stick Vulnerable on you. I'm going to save Wraith Form to near the end, or like when I'm about to nearly die or something like that. Let's neutralize him. There we go. Uh, I'm going to play that to get the 18. And then, is there anything that will come out that costs zero? No, there isn't. Right, so I won't play Expertise. Let's uh, finish the turn. Nice. That was a solid turn. Now, uh, let's play Piercing Whale and we'll take that damage down. What do I, what do I want to do here? I want to play that one. Discard that one. I want to play a Shiv on you. I want to play All Out Attack. And uh, now, even Decker's got some poison on him, which is it's not a lot, but it does help. Venom, Footwork, Infinite Blades, Crippling Cloud. Let's play Prepared. Discard the Shiv. Unfortunately, we'll discard the Defend as well. Play Survivor. Uh, we're only going to take 10 damage from this incoming attack. And we're still really high on the health stakes, so I'm, I'm happy with that one. Let's block here. Uh, unfortunately, these Dazed cards are kind of getting me... Um, tempted to just play the Wraith form now, but I feel like it would be a mistake because of the dexterity going down. So I'm going to wait. Let's just get uh, Donu off the table. Yeah, Donu is dead. Now we can focus on Decker. Let's blur. Now we've got a double damager here, so what's coming up? Dash is coming up on the next turn, I think. So let's hold off with the shivs and we'll use... Yeah, we'll use that for the 26 damage. Awesome. Let's weaken him. And now I want to use the Blessing of the Forge on these two defend cards just to boost them up a bit. And we've, got, we've got 50 block against 28, whatever it was. So yeah, we're fine. Okay, shiv, shiv. Another shift. Uh, we'll strike. Play that blur. Let's play expertise, see what comes out. Quick slash. Another shift. And he's nearly dead. I actually think I might be able to get... Yeah, he's, he's dead on the next round. So, job done. Let's see if we can just take him out. Oh, nearly. Not quite. He's going to die from the poison. All right. Nice little run. Pretty, pretty slap happy. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire? You prepare your daggers. He deals 712 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? 
you ask yourself, have I been here before? You feel that you have dealt a total of 2,335 damage to the heart, a total of 5,734,171,267 damage has been dealt by all who have challenged it. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Sleep. Victory question mark. So we've unlocked the ascensions, the next difficulty settings. Um, floors climbed, 51. Enemy slain, 16. Exordium elites killed, 2. City elites killed, 0. Beyond elites killed, 1. Bosses slain, 3. Speedster, money, money. Um, and champion. All right, let's see what cards we got. Bane, deal 7 damage. If the enemy has poison, deal 7 damage. Again, that's such a great card. Catalyst, double the enemy's poison. And Corpse Explosion, the one I mentioned earlier. Apply six poison when the enemy dies, deal damage equal to its match HP to all enemies. That's super useful. And we've unlocked the defect. Oh, I love the defect. He's a broken robot. And we'll be playing as him next. Cool, there you go. Oh, thanks so much for watching. Um, we got the next key. Uh, we're one stage closer to beating the corrupted heart one day. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, otherwise, just join us next time. Have a lovely day. Thanks a lot. Bye.